Today's video we're going to be uh, looking at a few different things. I have the camera a little weird today because I've changed the room around and now the camera is quite a bit forward and I can't get the perspective that I want so we're just going to have to work with it this way. Uh, I was at a game recently and won a bunch of prizes. I'm a little cut off here but what are you going to do? And a couple of things that I won, you know, uh, that I'm going to probably give away to people is I got a GMP rail kit you put over the rails so they're not so sharp on your hands and we got a bunch of Classic Army rail covers they're in both this is in black or this says OD and this is in gray uh, there's a nice nice prize that I won and uh, a Jag Arms large capacity stock series this is a, a, a nice stock has a uh, press for positions I like the idea that you just push this button over this stock comes off, big capacity for putting a battery in there, put it back together, clip that over, good to go. Hopefully they sell that piece because I can imagine people losing it, but I'll do a close up on that a little bit later. Uh, and the last thing that I won, which makes this a great prize, is a Glock 17 with an uh, elongated mag in this uh, Roni kit uh, in Dark Earth. have not even fired it yet. There's uh, push-up sights. Let's see if I can go. Oh, it must be the other way. Push-up sights. Flip-up sights. I'm not push-up. Flip-up sights. Uh, several position stock. Not too many, but a few charging handle on the side it actually has a grip that folds down here as well um, nice looking gun I have not tried it this is a polymer mag this one back here is a metal mag so this is the original one that came with it but I think it's a nice prize um, and I bought two tickets Two raffle tickets. They were ten dollars a piece because there was uh, an AK. Uh, there was a standalone launcher with some tag round or an AK with tag rounds. A launcher with tag rounds. There was an M16 uh, tricked out. Uh, there was this and a bunch of chrono chronographs they gave they gave away and some random other parts. I'm forgetting all the different ones. Oh, there was a black. This one in black they gave away too. So there's quite a few uh, prizes with the raffle, and I only bought two tickets. And the only reason I bought a second ticket is I thought the cost was ten dollars more. It wasn't. I so I had an extra ten bucks. I said, "Ah, eh, what the heck? I'll buy an extra ticket." And the extra ticket was the number that was called for this. So I thought that was uh, quite uh, quite the thing. We'll do a close up on that. But what we're going to do the whole video today is supposed to be about this the Falcon lipo charger and this lipo battery that I got to look at so we're going to do a close-up I'm going to pull the camera over here so we can do a close-up on this unit and we'll go over some of the features and some of the specs on it and I might even pull up the Glock Roni kit and we can scope that out close up as well okay this is going to be the first time I'm looking at this too I got this uh, the other day at the uh, game comes in this nice little box says lipo lion dish charger for 23 cell battery which is 7.4 or 11.1 in the box you get a charger okay pretty cool and the actual unit itself on the unit let's see has port for the 7.4 and a port for the 11.1 Port for the battery er, for the uh, AC charger and a display. So we're going to plug that in, and I'm going to give you a look see at the display what that looks like. Okay, my uh, power cord doesn't reach all the way over there. I usually don't charge here anyway. This on the screen, which might be a little hard to see, is voltage and a percent of the battery filled. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit on that. Hopefully, we can pick that up. Yeah, see, I can't get close enough. Anyway, you get an idea. Hopefully, you can see that where it has the voltage and that. If not, I'll do a 
standalone pitcher and I will insert it here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to open this battery up, which I have not seen before. This is a lithium ion 7.4, 2500 mAh, Dean's 30C. It's got a real high discharge rate. I guess for them high speed builds, this would be awesome. But what I see right away, this would be perfect for a crane stock. I mean, you could just hide them suckers in there, or even maybe a front stock would hide them. A very low profile, that'd be perfect for a crane stock. And 7.4, 2,500 ma. Like, if you can see that, it says, well, I probably can't see it. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to plug this in. It's a 7.4, so you plug it into the two port spot. Okay. It says. It's at 7 volts and it's 48% 40, charge. So the little icon on here, which I'm going to try to zoom in again just to see if you guys can see that. Now it helps if the battery is any good. On the, all right, I'm going to have to move the camera just a tad. Sorry about the jumping around there, but as you can see, little battery indicator is going. You might not be able to read the text on there. I hopefully that translates the video, but that's at seven, seven volts and it's at fifty percent. Now I'm going to let this charge all the way up, and then I'm going to start the video up again. Okay. It took a while, but uh, it did charge all the way up, and it says here on this, which uh, I'm going to try to zo oh, zoom in. I got it out of frame here. It's hard to see. Um, I'm at the extent of the where it will reach. It says 8.3 volts at 100%. It did take quite a long time to uh, charge this battery up, but let's zoom back out. Okay, so now we have a fully charged battery. Um, I have a lot of EC3Ns and Tamiya ends um, that I use. I don't use Deans that often. I really should get some kind of converter or make it over, but I have many Deans plugs, but I don't have big Deans plugs. So I have to get some Deans and make up a converter and try this battery. Uh, this is actually going to go to back to the guy that let me have a borrow it. I'm going to try and find some links for the charger itself and uh, this battery and put them into this video description. So hang on a minute. I just realized I might have been saying Elite Force. I don't think I was, but maybe I was. This is a Falcon LiPo Lion charger. It's $34.95. Uh, you can get another version without the display on it, which just has the blinking lights and that, which is what I'm used to for like under $20. This um, Lion 2500mAh battery there's various configurations. It's $34.95 as well. If you go to the links that I have in the description, you will see the different configurations for the battery, and you will see the link for this charger in there. Okay, we're going to change up the pace a little bit, and I just want to show you one other thing before we close out this video. Close up on this uh, Jag Arms Lodge Capacity Stock. Just to uh, show you the stock right off the bat. And as you can see, it has the uh, button to move with the positions, but what I wanted to show, which is very important, is this little button here. You just push that to the one side, and then this opens up, and you've got a large area for a battery in here. Fit something like that, or even a, a larger 11.1, .1, and even down the stock. And to put it back together, you just clip that in there like that, and then push this over there stocks in place. This is an awesome stock. I'm going to be giving this away to one of my uh, guys on the team. One other thing that I want to show is one other thing I want to show is my Glock Roni kit here. Um, it wasn't cycling because of a screw that was messed up here in the front. It was in too deep or whatever. I took it all the way out, only put it in about three quarters of the way and the gun has been performing uh, flawlessly since then. Uh, and 
cycling back and forth. Let me show you with a mag. I don't have any BBs in here, but cycles like a champ. When I got the gun, it would cycle back and not return uh, because it was binding up on this front section right here, and I have repaired that since then. Uh, the only other thing is I'm it like lubing up the extended mag that did come with this because that did leak when I first got the gun. So I'm going to see how that works out, and then once I get that be good to go. This is a very nice kit and I probably will be selling this to one of my uh, uh, the CEO of another local team. So I hope you enjoyed the video on the Valken Charger and there's a couple other things that we went over today. Uh, as always you have a good day and enjoy the sunshine. Wow.